Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I'm back with another scrapbook layout and this time I'm doing one of my hem party. Well, one, a few of the pictures, I've got three. Now, for some reason, the beginning of the videos disappeared, but it's fine. I've got a sheet of 12 by 12 and I've gone and cut strips of two inch by 12 in all different colors from the Fiesta Fever paper pack. And then what I've done is I took a selection of my um, edger punches and I've got a Martha Stewart one, uh, an X cut one, and there was another one as well. And you can see there, basically along each of those different strips, I have created a different border. And I'm just going along with my glue and overlap, overlapping each one as I sit it down. So I started from the bottom and then slowly my working, working my way up. And I've got about half an inch that I'm leaving of each one. So um, I got actually got this idea from Paige Evans over on her channel. Now hers is slightly different and she curled it all and it was very dimensional and things like that. But I liked the idea of having lots of different coloured strips of cardstock. So I just wanted to, you know, use the kind of last bits of this paper pack and I kind of clashed the prints with the plain. So I've used the reverse of a lot of them. So all the colours match, everything ties in perfectly together. But it is, it's just a really, a really fun effect. Now, you know, my hem, my hem party was just absolute chaos. It was, um, yeah, without going into too much detail, but it was a very, very funny night. And everybody was in a different fancy dress. So we had um, Santa Claus, someone dressed as a toilet, someone dressed as a butcher with sausages around their neck a turkey, a witch, um, a smurf. So everybody was clashing and colourful and just odd. And I wanted to kind of create a layout that was that kind of way. So again, really, you know, really, really crazy. So you can see now I've gone ahead and I've just covered that whole 12 by 12 piece of cardstock with those different strips. Now these are the photos. So there's me as Santa Claus. <laughs> and then I've got a, a one of me in, uh, um, let's say, um, yeah, the beginning of the night when we looked fresh. So there's my mum, me and my sister. Then there's my best friend in the top left with the turkey hat and then me and my sister, and you can see she's the Smurf. <laughs> and I never drink pints. I've got a pint in my hand and I never drink pints, but anyway. So I wanted these three, I just thought were particularly funny, but I do have some other great ones, but I just want to kind of frame them all, matte and layer and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually doing it the reverse this time. So I'm putting them on colored cardstock first, and then I'll mat them onto white. So I'm just going through each picture there, one on blue, one on pink, and then all of them I'm gonna put on a white matte final layer, just so that they kind of pop against the um, all of that kind of print. Because there's so much going on on this layout, I wanted to you know make sure that nothing gets lost. So you can see there the three, and now I'm just bringing in that white cardstock. And it does, it just really does, you know, like I said, make it pop, and you don't lose those photos. So. Again, this does create um, a bit more bulk to the layout, but overall I keep the layout pretty flat. This is probably really the most bulkiest part of these kind of pictures. So one thing I've done is I've got this punch that creates this kind of, um, I, I, it's hard, I don't really know how to explain it, but it allows you to be able to thread ribbon through. Now I'd never used it, it was a Martha Stewart one and um, I had this this ribbon here and I just wanted to have one with this punch along it. So I'm just going along here and just weaving this um, kind of, uh, again, I don't know what you call this, this ribbon. I know there's a name for it, but it's completely gone at the minute. But I just thought it would be a nice way to add a little bit of texture. You know, again, just use the tools I've got. I've had these things lying around for so long and I just think I don't know when I'm gonna use it. And when I saw this particular layout, I thought actually, yeah, this is gonna be a good good time to do it. So I go along there, it was a bit fiddly. It did take me a bit of time, but the overall finish look, did look really good. And you can see it there just behind the picture of my mum, me and my sister. And um, yeah, it was just nice. It's, again, it's just texture. It's kind of hard to pick up on in videos sometimes, but it, it did look really good. So the picture's all ready, the background's all done. So now it's just really a matter of starting to dress everything. So I've got these puffy stickers from, 
mm, I want to say American crafts, but I've got a feeling they're not. I think they're hobby craft. So again, not doing very well with where I've got everything today, but they are really nice puffy stickers, but they looked really lost just putting them directly onto the um, layout background there. So I'm just pulling, this was a sheet from the Beach Life collection. And I'm just kind of roughing up the edges there, just ripping it freehand just to, again, just to give it a bit of something really. So <laughs> I'm going to run that strip just to the, the left hand side there. And that will give me just a nice blank background for my title. I'm uh, just putting my photos on some foam adhesive as I always do and then I'm going to stick down this strip first of all struggling there with the glue and this is on um I've <laughs> doubled the doubled the speed on this layout so you can uh, imagine I was there shaking that bottle for a while so get the background bit stuck down first and then start positioning these photos so just get that one laid down there. I haven't used three pictures on a layout for a while actually so it was quite nice to kind of combine more than one or two photos really because that's kind of what I stick to but I'm just playing around there with the positioning and the title just before I kind of you know commit and actually stick down those other two photos so I'm starting to lay down the lettering here now now it's all in um lowercase I don't think there's no there weren't any capitals on this one so again it just looks a little bit different as well which I liked so yeah hen party fun is the is the title of this layout and the colors worked really well as well again i've had these for a while but never quite had the you know the, the layout for them so everything does eventually get used <laughs> which is good so you can see now how well that title really does pop and stand out and like i said it is on a foam so it's got a really nice fun texture to it as well so you've got the ribbon you've got the ripped kind of parts you've got all the layers of those strips and then you've got the foam from the title so lots going on then i'm bringing in some puffy stickers that one said woohoo i've got girls just want to have fun um this is how we roll so lots of different ones and um yeah just some fun little quotes so i'm bringing in some ribbon i did go to use the purple on the left and then thought that didn't look right so I've just um, made this nice orange bow which I end up sticking down later um, again just thought it looked quite fun these are some of the cutouts that come on one of the street sheets in the 12 by 12 pack and that one just says yay um, so I've just fussy cut that one and then I start playing around um, deciding really where I want to do it this at this layout actually took me quite a long time I remember I went away made a cup of tea come back again put it to one side so I just kept looking for different things to use so the top there that blue was just a bit too blank for me so I've just got these very thin washi tapes in an orange a pink and a green yeah again probably can't see it that well on the video but in the pictures you will I just wanted again something to break it up and then I remembered I had these neon do crafts strips sticky strips now they still sell these in the range I actually saw them the other day and I've had them for ages seriously I've had them for about three years and finally I found somewhere to use them so I just started laying these strips they're really really hard plastic but they bend and they're all sticky and um, they looked really quite good on this I, I thought yeah this is cool so and on the top I've done about four strips and I cut them all different lengths on that top left so you can just see me there kind of adding in more of those strips and they just, they were just fun I just kind of you know pop them in anywhere really above the photos but mainly along the top left and along the bottom right you can kind of see there they've got some nice dimension shine they got a bit of glitter through them as well so yeah I was glad I got to use them so then I got some more of the cutouts from the, the paper pack this one says good vibes so again just fussy cutting that one out just kind of collecting as I always do bits and pieces you can see I've added in a little camera there just to the left of my best friend and me um, we were looking at a selfie that we'd taken on the camera so the camera little kind of uh, chipboard embellishment looked really good there I'll put the good vibes up to the top left where there's the me my mum and my sister and then I've got these really nice enamel dots so I'm adding a few of them into the on top of the photo there of me and my sister the bottom right just anything I had that was really colorful I've kind of added to this layout so I've got these fun Rosie studio again kind of plastic stickers and just adding that's like little stars little hearts just lots and lots of stuff <laughs> so just raid what you've got if it matches that it will work and um, yeah I just kept adding loads to this layout again you'll see it in the photos at the end 
but um yeah so much texture and stuff it's really really cool and then at the bottom that was what i was saying earlier so girls just want to have fun i was adding glue onto the back of everything just because i didn't want these you know eventually peeling off because some of the adhesives just aren't great on the um the stickers when you buy them so just making sure everything's stuck down there this is how we roll girls just want to have fun and again this is all rosie's studio little sentiments and stuff so lots lots going on and then I'm just kind of working out where to put that bow. So I'm just adding some hot glue there and I end up popping it just above the hen title part there. And I thought that looked quite nice. Again, I don't tend to really add that bigger bow on my layouts because obviously it does create some, um, you know, height and bulk, but it, it was okay. It still worked. Then I've got my trusty Nuvo drop. So, you know, I'm coming to the end of the layout now and I added yellow, pink, blue, light pink and green and then I went over and done it all again so there are tons and tons of Nuvo drops on this layout because again when they dry they just look so good and yeah they just again it's just another element to the layout and I really like them so <laughs> that's why I've used them so yeah lots and lots and lots of Nuvo drops and there's the kind of dusty pink color again they just match so well with this this paper pack because there's so much color on that background you can pretty much get away with everything so there you go i can bring it up close now i've got celebrate woohoo good vibes girls just want to have fun this is how we roll and then you can see all those nuvo drops everywhere and that lovely kind of strip all of the ribbon that i weaved the ribbon bow loads <laughs> so i really had fun with this one and it's nice to just really use the stuff that we have in our stash even if it's just a little bit of it i've used it so i'm really really pleased and i absolutely love this layout and it just sums up the colorful fun you know hen party so i hope you've enjoyed this layout i will be back again with my regular layouts on a sunday and until next week have a lovely weekend and i'll see you soon bye